Billy Connolly Folk Music. In 1965, together with Tam Harvey, Connolly started a group called the Humble Bums. At their first gig, Connolly reportedly introduced them both to the audience by saying, My name's Billy Connolly, and I'm humble. This is Tam Harvey, he's a bum. The band would later include Jerry Rafferty, who saw Connolly at a charity show in Paisley. Jerry was very good for me. He taught me that I would never be a musician as long as my ass looked south. He was just so outstandingly good and getting better, and although I was getting better too, the space between us remained huge. He was a real musician, he knew and felt music, a bass player, with a lovely sense of harmony, as well as a great guitarist. I knew tunes and how to play them but that was where my musicianship ended. Unfortunately, I'm still the same to this day. I work very hard, I play every day but I'm still ordinary. I can be flashy, but it's all tricks really. He's a musician and I'm just not in the same league. So, I gave up these ambitions and concentrated on what I was really born to do. After Harvey left the group, Connolly and Rafferty continued as a duo and the latter two of their three albums featured just that duo. Connolly sang, played five-string banjo, guitar, and auto harp, and at live shows entertained the audience with his humorous introductions to the songs. Frank Bruno and Connolly provided lead vocals on the war song of the Erpneys from the Dreamstone, although the version heard in the series was largely sung by composer Mike Batt. In his world tour of Scotland, Connolly reveals that at a trailer show during the Edinburgh Festival, the Humble Bums took to the stage just before Yehudi Menuhin. The Humble Bums broke up in 1971 and both Connolly and Rafferty went solo. Connolly's first solo album in 1972, Billy Connolly Live, on Transatlantic Records, featured him as a singer-songwriter. His early albums were a mixture of comedy performances with comedic and serious musical interludes. Among his best-known musical performances were the Welly Boots song, a parody of the Scottish folk song The Wark of the Weavers, which became his theme song for several years, in The Brownies, a parody of the hit Village People songs in the Navy and YMCA, for which Connolly filmed a music video, Two Little Boys in Blue, a tongue-in-cheek indictment of police brutality done to the tune of Rolf Harris' Two Little Boys, and the ballad I Wish I Was in Glasgow which Connolly would later perform in duet with Malcolm McDowell on a guest appearance on the 1990s American sitcom Pearl, which starred Rhea Perlman. He also performed the occasional Humble Bums era song such as Oh, No, as well as straightforward covers such as a version of Dolly Parton's Coat of Many Colors, both of which were included on his Get Right Into Him album. In November 1975, his spoof of the Tammy Wynette song D-I-V-O-R-C-E was a UK number one single for one week. Wynette's original was about parents spelling out words of an impending marital split to avoid traumatizing their young child. Connolly's spoof of the song played on the fact that many dog owners use the same tactic when they do not wish their pet to become upset about an impending trip to the vet. Connolly's song is about a couple whose marriage is ruined by a bad vet visit, spelling out W-O-R-M or Q-U-A-R-A-N-T-I-N-E, for example. His song No Chance was a parody of J.J. Barry's cover of the song No Charge. In 1985, he sang the theme song to Super Gran, which was released as a single and, in 1996, he performed a cover of Ralph McTell's In the Dreamtime as the theme to his world tour of Australia. By the late 1980s, Connolly had all but dropped the music from his act, though he still records the occasional musical performance, such as a 1980s recording of his composition Sergeant. Where's Mine? With the Dubliners. In 1998, he covered the Beatles being for the benefit of Mr. Kite. On the George Martin tribute album, In My Life, he sang a song during the film Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. And in 1995 and 2005, he released two albums of instrumental performances Musical Tour of Scotland and Billy Connolly's Musical Tour of New Zealand, respectively. Connolly is among the artists featured on Banjo Man a tribute to American folk musician Daryl Adams, released in 2002. He plays one song, The Rock. <laughs>